Do you currently use JotForm to collect customer information and project broadcasts to communicate with them? What if I told you that when someone completes a JotForm, project broadcast will automatically send them a text? Now, as of right now, JotForm does not have a direct integration, but we can do it with Zapier. So let me show you how. I am currently in my project broadcast and we need two things from a project broadcast. So the first thing that we need is going to be a keyword and the second thing is going to be a campaign and the campaign is what's going to send the message. So you can see I already have a campaign set up. It is just a normal drip campaign and there's only one text in it. So I have called this one Hocus Pocus because I'm collecting Hocus Pocus pre-orders. So over here I have the message and it's basically, hey, it's Kimberly with Cincy. Thank you for pre-ordering. So I have it set, the day delay is zero and the time is at 6.42 a.m. So that way, whenever they fill this out, they're basically going to get the text right away. So that is the campaign that you need. The second thing is going to be a keyword. I'm gonna pop over here. I have Hocus Pocus as the keyword and we can see right here, join campaign. So I have the campaign that they're going to join is what I just showed you, the Hocus Pocus campaign. Now down here at the bottom, this should automatically be checked, but we want it to auto tag. So anytime someone is added to this keyword, it's also going to tag them as Hocus Pocus. So now that we have those two things in Project Broadcast, I'm gonna head over to Zapier. Now Zapier might seem overwhelming, but it is very, very simple as long as you just follow the prompts. And we're also using the free version for this, which is very important. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm in my zaps right now. I'm gonna come over to the right and choose to create a zap. And the first thing we need is a trigger. What do we want to trigger this action? And that's going to be someone filling out a form. So we need to search for JotForm. I'm gonna choose JotForm. Next up is the event, and that's whenever we get a new submission and continue. Now we need to choose our account. So if you haven't authenticated, set up your account within Zapier, you'll be asked to do that now. And once you have authenticated, it knows all of your forms. So all you need to do is choose from the drop down. Mine is the Hocus Pocus pre-order form and continue. And let's test it. Good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. So JotForm is taken care of. Next, we need to do the action, which is send the text, which is project broadcast. So I'm gonna search for project broadcast right here. We're gonna choose an event, which is to apply a keyword. Continue. We're gonna choose the account. Again, if you haven't set this up, you'll be asked to log into project broadcast. Continue. Now from here where it says contact ID or phone number, when we click on here, it's going to look for that data within your form. So I'm gonna to choose to show all options. And right down here, it says the best text number. That's what the field in my form says. Perfect. And then the keyword is Hocus Pocus. You'll put whatever keyword you chose there. Continue. And then let's test and review. All right, good deal. So it just sent a text to my project broadcast. So it's good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish this zap, turn it on, and we're good to go. You wanna make sure to title it. I'm gonna end up deleting this one, so I'm not going to rename it, but you can see I've been using this for party packs. So when someone fills out a catalog request form, it'll send them a text. Um, Hocus Pocus, any form that you have that you want to instantly start building a relationship with someone via text, you can use this. So. Hopefully at some point JotForm will integrate a official integration with Project Broadcast, but in the meantime, this works like a charm.